Hey, have you ever seen one of them scissor lifts that does this? Well, today I'm gonna be riding one. I'm working on a gymnasium 20 feet up in the air and these things get pretty wobbly and it weighs about 4,000 pounds. We're driving across a wooden finished floor. So I'm just gonna show you some video of how we do that today. Plus, we're removing 500 square feet of these tiles and replacing them. So we'll do a little video about that today. We'll do that right after this. Hey, in today's video, I'm just going to mostly show you video from this day. Not a lot of talking because it's not educational. This is just to show you what it's like on a job site and let you check out a scissor lift. So here we go. Okay, I'm gonna give you a little demonstration of operating the scissor lift. I gotta go up there and texture a little bit on the ceilings, so we'll do that now. Okay, on a scissor lift, I'll show you these controls, but there is a joystick and on this particular one, what that does is it moves it forward and backwards. That's it. On top of the joystick is a toggle lever. And when you toggle it right, it turns the front wheels to the right and to the left. And then you have an up and down control and you have to activate a safety button on the side to activate the up and down control. There's also a safety button here, which when locked out, nothing works. Then there's also a speed control. You can set this for turtle mode or rabbit mode. So fast or slow. Now when you get up these high, these things do get a little wobbly, but they're safe. You just have to ride it like a surfboard where your body kind of stays still and you let your feet do the moving. You get used to it after a while. They've got good safety rails on them. And when you start lifting this thing up, there's these little panels that go down like you'll see right here. They drop down to the floor. And that way, if this thing tries to tilt sideways too much, it adds more stability to the whole thing. So this is so high up, it's 20 feet up in the air, so all I've got to do is a good job, not the absolute best. Need a little more height though. Because you won't be able to see it from so low down. So I'm wet sanding the edges. This is a rolled texture. So I'm just gonna roll it with this little thing here. We don't need a lot. This mud's a little too thin, actually. It's my spray texture, but I'll make it work. We just got a couple of small areas to do this to. Now it's time to go down and move to that end. Now this handle right here has a dead man's grip, meaning if I move it without activating the dead man's grip, it won't go. So we squeeze the grip and then it'll roll.
All right, in this video, I took this. So this is the guy had helping me, which is a friend of mine. And you can see here that all them little glue spots, them dark spots, those are glue spots. And each one of those one foot by one foot tiles was glued on and the tiles were tongue and groove also. And this glue was just rock hard. So it was really fighting us and we had a hard time getting it off so this first part took five days then we went home over the weekend and when we came back I brought with me this floor scraper now this floor scraper it came from Harbor Freight and it made it quite a bit easier it had a carbide blade instead of a steel blade and this is me because I didn't bring my helper back didn't need him for the last couple days here and anyway, you can see that this made quite a mess on the floor. So there was a lot of trips to clean up. All that glue was leaving this terrible sand everywhere. So it was an interesting job, to say the least. Now, when I say five days, we did more than just that ceiling. I did a big repair here that was about uh, roughly 20 square feet. This is the after photo. It came out perfect, so you can't really tell what I did here. But we also had to lay down two layers of three quarter inch plywood everywhere this thing went because it weighs over around 4,000 pounds and that's what's called for on these gym floors. And it was a lot of work moving it so that was tedious. But we'd have got it done in five days probably except the scissor lift which was reserved weeks in advance and was supposed to be there Monday morning bright and early didn't show up until Wednesday afternoon so it really put us behind and we were staying 100 miles out of town in a motel so all we could do is kind of do what we could and wait for the scissor lift in the end it came out great it went from this with all that water damage water staining to this they were happy we got paid jobs over hey if you enjoyed this video I hope you'll consider subscribing to our channel and if you'd like to help us grow on this channel we have a Patreon page where you can get some members only exclusive uh, content and it's also a way for you to just say thanks for the videos we put out. As always I appreciate everything you guys do and for stopping by and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Thanks a lot. Take care.